So if you play online poker, you are probably familiar with multi-tabling. That's where you play more than one table at a time because, well, online poker you can. In real poker, of course, you can't do that, but in online poker, you can do that. If you stream online poker, you are almost certainly going to have more than one table up at a time. Now, most people, what they do to manage a lot of ta uh, tables on their screen, stream or in their game is they use a tool called Table Tamer or Table Ninja. And what this will do is it'll place the tables in specific places for you and also uh, do a couple more features for you. Now, for a streamer, having your tables in predictable places is incredibly important. But I've never really used Table Tamer or Table Ninja. And the reason is because they're ridiculously expensive. They're subscription. So it's anywhere from $150 to $180 a year to use them. And that just seems like a bad value to me. But a viewer on Twitch told me about a tool called Power Toys with something called Fancy Zones in it. And it's almost, not quite, a poor man's Table Tamer. Let me show you what it's like. Okay, so this is the tool. It's called Windows Power Toys. And there are a bunch of different applications on the left. The only one that I'm interested in right now is Fancy Zones. And what Fancy Zones does is it lets you edit zones where you want to place your windows. So I'm going to click this Zone Editor. And by default, it comes up like this. Now, for poker, it probably makes sense to use a grid. Uh, <clears throat> now, as you can see, this grid layout is a little bit wide. So, for simplicity's sake, in the simple case, I'm going to demonstrate using a six-table layout. And if you just click this up to six, now this gets a little bit more reasonable. These, this grid looks a little bit more like something you might actually use. That said, I don't like the space between these, so I, I'm going to set this down. I could set it to zero. And now this is what it looks like. I don't like zero. I think I'm going to choose one. And now this is what it looks like. And then the way that you um, move tables into that spot, so like while I'm dragging, I press the shift key and it will highlight where I want to put the table. So if I put it into one, it resizes it and snaps it into that corner. And really, this works with windows, any window that you can come up with. So it's not just any table, which means it works with lots of different sites. Here, for example, is a PokerStars site, PokerStars table. Here is a Ignition table. Here is a Bet Online table. Here's a global table. And finally, here's a carbon table. Now, carbon is an interesting example. It's hard to see it from here, but let's move the, um, whoops, let's move the global table over here and snap carbon into this spot. Carbon overlaps. This is the only site that I've found so far that, that behaves like this. Um, and so I, I don't really know why it's doing that, but I'm just going to manually resize this one. So that is a um, six table setup. Now, what if you want, if you can see my screen over here, I have four tables that I like. That On this particular screen, I want four tables. And when we saw earlier, that four table setup looked terrible. So you can make a custom zone. <clears throat> so we're gonna go back into the zone editor. And rather than this, we're gonna go into custom. We're gonna create a new custom layout and we're gonna edit it. Now we're going to add our own zone. We're just going to take this guy and drag it into place. And then resize it. And let me just fast forward through the setup of the rest of these zones. I'm going to name this Four Table Poker. And we'll save it. And now <clears throat> we have four tables here. So I'll, let me grab the global table, the ignition table, 
stars table and the ACR table. Oops, that happens sometimes too. If you, if you can actually put it in two zones at the same time, and it will do that. But this one I just want in one zone, and it behaves like that. So that's uh, Power Toys Fancy Zones. Is it for you? Does it do everything Table Tamer does? Mm, not really. But does it do enough to overcome the price point of Table Tamers? That's for you to, de to decide. For me, I think it's really useful. Um, so I'm going to use it. Uh, but the good news, it is, is free. And I have left a link down in the description below for where you can find it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click that like button. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you didn't like it, leave me a comment, please, um, because I'd really like to hear what you thought. And if you manage to get all the way to the end of this video, say, ooh, those zones are fancy, in chat, please. Anyway, thanks for watching.